Now we move on to the next fight. This one is Myra Bueno Silva versus Mara Romero Barillo at 125 pounds. Chitara Myra Bueno Silva. She is a Brazilian, 6-1 overall in MMA. She's 29 years old, 5 feet 6 inches tall with a 66 and a half inch reach. She's 1-1 one one in the UFC coming off of a decision loss to a very tough Marina Moros. Myra did defeat Jillian Roberts with the first round submission in her UFC debut. Myra did compete on Dana White's Contender Series where she defeated her opponent Mayana Souza with a wicked ninja choke in round one. She's the former Batala MMA 135 pound women's champion. She has four wins by submission, one win by knockout, and one win by decision on her record. Her only loss is that decision loss to Marina Moros that I just told you about. Now she'll be fighting Mara, Mara Vila, Romero Barillo. Mara is an Italian. She's 12 and 8 in MMA, 34 years old. 5 feet 6 inches tall with a 69 inch reach. Mara has struggled so far in the UFC. She's 1 and 4 in the UFC right now. She's coming off of a first round submission loss to a very tough Courtney Casey. And her only win in the UFC is a split decision win over Talia Santos. Mara has three different black belts. She's a black belt in judo, a black belt in kickboxing, and a black belt in shooto fighting. And she also currently has a blue belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Mara is also the former Combat League 135 pound women's champion. Interesting to note is that Mara is actually under a 26 year suspension from the National Anti-Doping Agency of Italy for her involvement in trafficking and distribution of cocaine and marijuana. She was suspended initially for 15 years and then she received an additional 11 year sentence when they found out that she was actually training inside of a combat sports facility which apparently in Italy you're not supposed to do if you are under suspension. The reason that she was able to join the UFC is because USADA doesn't actually uh, recognize the crimes that she committed in Italy as a violation of the UFC anti-doping policy. So the UFC was able to bring her in even though she is under suspension in Italy. Now Mara has five wins by decision four wins by submission, and three wins by knockout on her record. In her eight losses, she's been knocked out four times. She's lost from submission two times, and she's lost from decision two times. When Bueno Silva was lost to Marina Moros, she was put on her back. She didn't really seem to know what she was doing there. She didn't really seem to have an answer. She had an open guard for a little while. She closed her guard, but never once did she attempt a submission and never once did she attempt to get out of there so i have a feeling that her ground game is really lacking here and i think that mara is going to work to push this fight to the ground while mara has good striking she also likes to take these fights to the ground sometimes and i think that that will happen in this fight i think that this is the best place for mara to fight in this this fight i think it's the safest place but ultimately what i think will happen is i think that mara will take down buena silva and bueno silva is really going to struggle not knowing what to do on the ground there and Mara Romero Barillo is going to submit her in the second round.